So we are at the uh, Da Cheng Gate. You can see here, this is a huge stairwell here with a carving right in the middle. These things are all over the place. Um, the Da Cheng Gate is also known as the Halberd Gate. Right? And you can see the halberds over there in the corners. There's a halberd set over there. There's a halberd set over there. And uh, so that's why it's also known as a halberd gate. This is the second courtyard. There's a bunch of stuff. A lot of the stuff here are tablets that are inscribed by people that, uh, well, inscribed for people that passed a civil service examination. What purpose that served, I have yet to figure out, but there was a civil service examination and the people that passed, their names were inscribed on the um, tablets that were erected in the other courtyard and erected in some of these courtyards. Uh, we're gonna walk over to this because I think this looks pretty cool. There's some construction going on here, as you can see. The guys are repiping some stuff. So this was a furnace for offering sacrifices. So whatever the offerings were, they were burned in there, in this uh, little green building, right? As an offering to appease the gods, or God, whatever the case may be. I don't know, I don't know much about Confucianism, um, or the belief system at the time, so don't quote me on any of that. The roofing's kind of cool there. You can see where some of it's been redone, but some of it looks to be original. Very cool. Very quiet, very peaceful here. All of the roofs look like this. And you know, you can see um, the influence that the Chinese had on like Thai um, decorating and architecture because this looks very similar to uh, my friend who runs the library Kelly she uh, she goes to Thailand a lot with her husband Joe my boss Joe um, and I she sent back some pictures of the architecture in Thailand which was stunning I mean it's stunning it's gorgeous gilded gold gilded buildings and but a lot of this base architecture that you see up here is kind of the similar, a very similar thing that you see in Thailand as well. So you can see the confluence of cultures that occurs and where some of this stuff is derived from. Here's another one of those tablets. These things are all inside these little like mini courtyards, uh, little, little areas of their own. They're all enclosed and this is supposed to be an imperial edict because that's supposed to be representative of the emperor right there, that, that animal that looks like a turtle, a turtle, but when he appeared to the people, he was supposed to appear like this. And you see where there's money in his mouth because they're offering, um, the people that believe are, are putting little offerings there for blessings. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, So this one was made by the order of the emperor to mark the successful suppression of the Hui riot and placed in the Imperial College. So apparently there were some people that were, the Hui people were pissed off or whoever the Hui were, were a little annoyed and decided to riot. And the riot was quelled or quashed or whatever you want to call it. They always use a very nice term called quelled, but I'm sure there was much death and mayhem to quell that riot. Uh, stone steel made by the order of the emperor to eulogize four disciples of Con Confucius. Eulogize the virtues and merits of four disciples of Confucius. Yangzi, Zengzi, Zizi, and Mencius. Mencius? How do you get a name like that? The guy must have come from Europe or something. And I've lost my wife.
As you guys can see, this is a regular occurrence on these videos. I lose my wife and then I find her again. Oh, there she is. So yeah, these, there's a bunch of these tablets inside these little structures here marking different events that have occurred. Um, but they all have, you know, historical significance. They were all erected by an emperor or another for one reason or another. There's another building up there. So we're going to pause here and we will um, light it up again when we get into something interesting. Until then.